Hello there, welcome to another episode of World of Tanks with Ngani Titan. Once more we're on Lakeville in the enc encounter battle. And uh, I'm in my KV-5. Uh, probably my favourite tank in the game at the moment. I've been getting Lakeville a lot and I, I'm not terribly fond of Lakeville. I mean it's a very straightforward map and it's very easy to tell you what the right thing to do on Lakeville is. The problem is that no matter what um, or how often you're on Lakeville, it's very rare that the team will do a sensible thing. In, and as sure enough, as we're starting off here, uh, the majority of the team are heading for the Bog Valley down the western side of the map. There's about seven, maybe eight tanks, arguably, going for it right now. Including a heavy tank that hasn't made up his mind where he's going. Um, the rest of the team, fortunately, is more or less heading in the direction of the town. And this is in counter mode, so... We had a bit of a stroke of luck here with the uh, AMX-12T uh, Suicide Scout. He could have stayed a little bit further back, 50 meters further back, and he would have been hidden, and he'd have been spotting everybody in the side of that uh, lake. And his allies down at the northern end of the lake could have set up the lake edge and shot a lot of those medium and heavy tanks crossing the open ground towards the town. Instead he pushed on until he was spotted. And by doing so he did our team a big favour because he pulled the two medium tanks out of the valley procession into the western side of the lake. So that's a more useful spot than in the valley. And it doesn't matter that we actually win the valley. Uh, we just don't get out of the valley, um, which is a different thing again. So, um, unfortunately though, there's only me and the light tank in the town. And I'm not going to go in there, because I'm outnumbered. I know there's at least three tanks in there, so there's no point in going in. And we might as well let them cap for a while, at least until I get some support. And there's an IS-3 here. And I'm going to let the IS-3 take the western road, because... He's going to be facing more tanks and he's better suited to doing it because there isn't really the cover there. Um, whereas if I come down here, I can shoot the capper without coming out of the uh, roadway I'm in. And I'm reasonably well protected in this location. So um, he can come out and spot me and shoot me. And if he comes out again, I can get a shot at him. But the problem is that if I come out uh, too far. I was just checking there, there was nobody at the corner uh, on this side of the square. If I come out too far then I'm potentially caught on both sides of the church and um, that would be bad because uh, there's the Chieftain T95 uh, coming forward to see what's going on on this side. I've managed to get a shot into him but I can't really um, stay out until I have a bit more support but the IS-3 has now arrived as you can see, our guys have made it to the end of the valley, but they're dying um, because they're being spotted from the corner and there's two heavy tanks back at A7 um, shooting them. So I'm going to come up here to the corner now and we'll fire at the Chieftain T95, but I think that hit something, a wall or a pillar or something between me and the, T90, uh, the Chieftain T95. Didn't do him any damage anyway. Now it's four versus three in the town. Um, but I'm going to start engaging on the uh, Ferdinand as soon as I can uh, clear my corner here. And the Ferdinand is aware that there are tanks around this side, so he's ignoring the uh, other heavy tank, which is the IS-3. He pushed, he tracked me there and drove forward under, so my gun couldn't reach down. I couldn't actually keep it low enough to get the lower front plate. But I get the shot in there, and then he gets round with the T-44. 44 takes a lot of damage there. But I bounced that off the side. I didn't have a good angle. I could probably push out further. This, however, was an opportunity that was just too good to ignore, and I uh, took the opportunity to get rid of him. Um, I screw up this shot because when I release the trigger, it, he drives in front of the T25/2, so the shot hits that and the hole for that rather than the uh, Ferdinand. But anyway, we do get the opportunity. And uh, now we've just a tiger piece, so now the numbers are on our side. 
And our guys on the valley are dead. There's no sign of the tanks to beat them. Um, but if they came up here, they might actually have had a chance of arriving before all their friends uh, died. Now the artillery's just leaving me be because he's going after the other um, the other tank. He thought he might have a chance. And there's just an IS left and whatever drove past the town on the other side. Um, is that a medium or a heavy? He'll show up again in a moment. So IS, other side of this building, I'm just going to drive through the building. Unfortunately, he rams the IS-3 before I get a chance to put a, a shot into him. And we're being capped again. Now, in my opinion, the guy that's capping it is this time would have been better off to run away. Um, there was three tanks in the town. He's in the cap circle, he's not going to survive. The IS-3 is on very low health, so I just said... I'll volunteer to go in front and take the shot. However, the VK3601H declines to actually shoot me. Uh, he waits for the IS-3 to come out and kills him. But he's not getting away. I'm going to finish him off. So now, we have the numerical advantage. We have four tanks, the enemy have two. And they're over around our spawn point. Um, I'm reasonably sure if they never actually went up the valley and came directly back to the town, they would have arrived in town before the last of their allies would have died. Now, I'm not sure if it would have helped them. Um, they might want to have done it a bit earlier, but, you know, they, they, they did need to win that fight before they could come this way. And if they had made it before the VK-3601, or even the IS, had died, then they might actually have turned the fight around because then the numerical advantage would have been on their side and we'd still have to finish off the tanks that needed to be finished off. So it looks like I'm the only one coming back towards our spawn point. The other two tanks are, uh, well one of them's in the cap circle, the other one's heading that way. However, I'm nearly full hit points, um, so I should be okay. Um, put a shot into the IS-2. Artillery puts a shot in the IS-2, and he's out here in the open, so I should get another shot off. Um, and he's coming straight in for the ram. I do as much damage on the ram as I would have from um, an actual shot, and that Indian Panzer doesn't seem to um, know where to shoot me, so I'm actually getting the advantage of this um, engagement so far, despite the fact that I bounced that shot. Because he then rams me, and that's the end of that. So four kills, 13 damaging ribbons. Um, so it's not just about having more tanks. It's having more tanks where the fight is um, really is one of the key things in this game. So thank you for watching. Uh, please consider giving the video a like if you enjoyed the video. And if you haven't already done so, please consider giving the channel a subscription. And once again, thank you for watching and I'll catch you all again soon.